from the Tribune News Network. This is News Break. I'm Kirk Smith. Friday's top stories. The government heading into the weekend facing another immigration-related lawsuit. This one being brought by the Ghana native who was held at the Carmichael Road Detention Center for more than seven years after he was taken into custody. He is suing the government for $10 million, claiming, among other things, false detention. Says while he was there, he was physically, emotionally, and psychologically abused. He's being represented in the case by Queens Council lawyer Fred Smith, who's filed the necessary paperwork. Police have completed their investigations into another murder case, and they've filed charges. 21-year-old John Elliott has been charged with the fatal shooting of Anthony Rowe last month. Rowe shot while playing a game of dominoes. Elliott is also facing weapons possession charges. The coronavirus numbers are back up again. A second straight day of more than 50 cases for Wednesday. A total of 52 spread over five islands, two of them listed as location pending. Most of them in the capital, 45. The hospital numbers are back over 50, 52 persons being treated now. Five of them are serious enough to be in the ICU. The death toll remains at 211. The Ministry of Health releasing a statement saying it's aware of a social media message related to the AstraZeneca vaccine that's circulating. Didn't come from the ministry. And officials there are urging persons to seek information from what they call credible sources. This is News Break from the Tribune News Network. The current emergency order is set to expire later this month. What happens then hasn't been determined as yet, according to Attorney General Carl Bethel. I raised the issue. Um, Prime Minister indicated that he uh, wishes to have some serious discussions with the medical community and get their advice. He's not prepared to commit to uh, any particular course of action until he has done so. Immigration officials announcing that 64 Haitian nationals were repatriated in an exercise yesterday. Gas prices over the $5 mark in the capital now. The Tribune's gas tracker listing rubus at $5.04 per gallon. The other two major dealers remain under $5 for now. Details of the day's top stories in the Tribune newspaper on the streets first thing in the morning. Stay up to date online at Tribune 242. Dot com. Now the Tribune's AccuWeather update, a service of insurance management, a frontal system approaching from the north, associated weather in the northwest and Bahamas, partly cloudy, a stray shower, maybe, highs in the mid-80s, 83 at Freeport, 85 in the capital, 86 at Matthew Town. No marine advisories, winds generally 10 to 15 knots, the seas 2 to 4 feet, high tide now, the next low around 1 this afternoon. Turning partly cloudy tonight, chance of showers lows from the mid to upper 70s. For complete weather information, check the Tribune's weather page. For your insurance needs, you want to call Insurance Management. They offer a wide range of insurance products. Give them a call today for all of your insurance needs. With more than 40 years in business, nobody does it better than Insurance Management. This is News Break from the Tribune News Network. Let's get the weekend started. The weekend, published every Friday in the Tribune, has the hottest news in fashion, music tips, the who's who on the red carpet, your must-try restaurants and hotspots, and of course, what to wear when you step out. Catch up on the latest film reviews, or be thrilled with exciting tales from Bahamian history. There's only one place to find everything you need to plan your perfect weekend, in Friday's Tribune. Pick up your copy of the weekend every Friday. The Tribune, the people's paper, biggest and best. Friday's World News headlines, another coronavirus record-setting day in India. As the crisis continues there, unchecked, more than 400,000 confirmed cases reported for today, close to 4,000 additional deaths. The country now facing a possible third wave of that virus. Countries continue to send in help, the latest coming from Britain, India's healthcare system on the verge of collapse. Meantime, support is growing for further easing of patent rules on vaccines, which should allow poorer countries to get their hands on the vaccines. The Tribune's gas tracker prices heading into the weekend. Shell 486, SO 494, that's up six cents. Rubus now five dollars and four cents, that's up eleven cents on the gallon price. Now your sports notes brought to you by the Tribune Sports Section. Another Bahamian gets a pro baseball contract. Find out who he is and where he's headed. There's more on how the Olympic Games will handle vaccinations. 
Mike Strawn signing his NFL contract with the Colts. The proof in the trivia on sports. Latest on pro soccer, Major League Baseball, and the NBA. And celebrating sports moms. Find out how in the Tribune Sports Friday. For all of your sports details, you want to check the Tribune Sports section. Everything you need from the world of sports, you'll find in the Tribune Sports. And that's your news break. Details of the day's top stories in the Tribune newspaper on the streets first thing in the morning. Stay up to date online all weekend at Tribune242.com. 